This is the Sunday afternoon session of the 189th semi-annual general conference. Hi, this is Joseph. Down here at the Lake of Fire and Brimstone. Uh, coming today to just kind of let you know a little bit about the the historicity and the archaeological stupidity that I put forth in the Book of Mormon. In the areas of history and archaeology, the accuracy of the Bible is flawless. So flawless, in fact, that for years, researchers of the ancient Middle East used it as a standard. Its record of cities, mountains, rivers, seas, and other locations is completely accurate. Likewise, its references to various nations are precise. Many biblical places and people, which for centuries were unknown to secular history, such as the great Hittite nation, now have been discovered. Archaeology consistently has verified the Bible record. Yet, and of course you'll find this out, the same cannot be said of the Book of Mormon. It records people and places that never have been authenticated. In fact, when questioned about it, its, its historical and archaeological reliability, major research institutions such as the Smithsonian have stated that it has none. Okay? So there's, there's, they can't verify anything that I wrote in that book. Boy, I was a smart cookie, wasn't I? The Book of Mormon contains numerous references to unverifiable people and places. For example, the following groups of people are unverifiable. <laughs> Oops. Nephites, Lamanites, Jaredites, Am Amulonites, I don't know how I came up with that one. Zoromites, I kind of like that one though. Milkites. Millicites, I think. Millicites, yeah, that's it. The following places, likewise, are unverifiable, like Shazer, Jershom, Jashom, Elam, Heshlon, Manti, Madonai. Oh, and I had a few more in there, too. <laughs> All of these names apparently are fabricated. Yeah. And hence, they're unknown to history and archaeology. How could the many great cities and vast numbers of people portrayed in the Book of Mormon have gone completely undetected during millennia of research? Well, <laughs> here's the simple fact. The fact is, such people and places cannot be documented to have ever existed. A problem with which modern-day Mormons have struggled, and one that they have attempted to solve in a variety of ways. For example, a brochure published by the Mormon-sponsored BYU, that's Brigham Young University, suggested, though we cannot speak authoritatively or precisely, about the location of Book of Mormon sites, we can, by a visit to Mesoamerica, create a mental tapestry resembling the land and circumstances in which the story actually happened. Ooh, that's a good one. In other words, the events described within the pages of the Book of Mormon cannot be documented historically or archaeologically, but they can be imagined. Ooh, I was pretty good. And we are his people. Amen. In jeder Stunde, an jedem Tag, nur zu denken an Deutschland, an Volk, und an Reich, an unsere deutsche Nation, unser deutsches Volk siegt!